What's up guys? This is The Mexican and I'm back with another fresh food review for you today. Today we're doing the uh, Super Nature uh, Middle Eastern Chicken and Quinoa Tabbouleh. Tabbouleh? Tabbouleh? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm sure I'm going to get corrected on that one. I, uh, I've never had tabbouleh. I saw it sitting in the freezer. It was discounted obviously because that's what I do for this channel. And in real life, you know, for general eating. Um, but yeah, no, I was, I was like, oh, yeah, let's give it a go. Yeah, <laughs> for some reason, I uh, I do a lot of health foods on this channel, but then I balance it out with like Maccas and KFC. So, you know, <laughs> I suppose it is balance. Um, yeah, this uh, Super Nature company seems to be um, obsessed with superfoods. Uh, if you're familiar with the concept, it's just uh, foods that are rich in various uh, nutrients. Um, the, the ones they're really singing about on this box are chickpeas, tomatoes. I wasn't sure that was a superfood, but all right. I can see chickpeas, high in protein. I get that. Goji berries, I've heard of that. And uh, quinoa, chin, chin, quinoa, quinoa. No, I had it right the first time. And spinach. Uh, yeah, those are those are reasonably good superfoods. I've I've heard that before. But yeah, tomato is a bit of a stretch. That's a uh, apparently I'm a scrub. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about half the time. Um, yeah, I thought I thought I'd give it a go. It was oh, three dollars fifty in the supermarket. Um, yeah, so seven dollars normal price, I think, because I would have bought it half price. I'm gonna have a um, have a look at the container. It's made of incredible stuff, apparently, according to the uh, box. But here we go. We got yeah, we got some sauce. I guess that's the tabbouleh, and we've got um, yeah, we got we got the we got the quinoa. Uh, it says to stand for two minutes, but I think after waffling for quite a bit, I think we're ready to go. So let's dig in. Let's just have a bit of the uh, quinoa on its own, just see how that goes down. reasonably well cooked through, which you'd hope for. It took seven minutes in the microwave, which is a bit a bit much, but this isn't supposed to be a quick meal, it's supposed to be a superfood meal, so you know how it is. Now we're gonna get some of this um what I assume is the tabbouleh, the uh, red sauce. We're gonna try that try that individually. Oh crap that's actually I was gonna say it's really nice and then then it was a bit spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. It's not super spicy, but I wasn't ready for the spice, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it was actually quite good. It smelled like crap cooking in the microwave, I'm not going to lie. It was not great, but it tastes pretty fantastic. Uh, let's just get a, a hearty spoonful of both the uh, quinoa and the um, and the tabbouleh. That's hot as fuck. I might give it a bit of a stir, but um, yeah, yes, yeah, so seven minutes. You'd hope it was a bit hot, and I'm, you know, I'm glad I did let it stand for two minutes. Some of the um, quinoa appears to be clumped together now that I'm actually um, stirring it up. It's a bit difficult to go through. Oh, and there is chicken in this, isn't there? Yeah, so I didn't. I forgot about the chicken in there. I might, might have to try a bit of the chicken. There, there it is. Let's give that a go. Uh, No, that's actually really bloody good. The flavors are fantastic. Um, it's supposed to be healthy. Uh, it's um, a good source of protein, I'd hope so, considering it's got chicken, chickpeas, and the quinoa. You know, what does it say? It's um, one of the most protein-rich foods on earth, according to the box. Um, Preservative-free, no artificial colors and flavors. You, you really, you'd hope so with this kind of um, marketing, but you gotta put it in the box, really make it obvious. Uh, yeah, not much else to say about it. Um, just, yeah, it takes seven minutes to cook, which is really weird. You know, it's not quick at all. So if you really need a quick feed, you're not looking at this. Because, yeah, seven minutes plus the two minutes of um, standing time, that's that's almost ten minutes you're running, you know. Uh, but all in all, reasonably fantastic. Let's just go um, get, get one more bite in, and we'll, um, we'll wrap this review up. Let's get a chickpea. I don't think I had chickpea yet. Mmm. No, really good. Really good stuff. I think seven dollars might be a bit of a stretch, but you know how they um, they price those uh, you know really organic superfood type of stuff really expensive usually all the time. Three dollars fifty. This is absolutely what I'm going to now term a buy uh, for seven dollars. Unless you're really really into your health foods, and I'm not even sure how it stacks up against you know like home cooked meals that you you know you'd make at home and how they be healthier in comparison to this. It depends on what you make, obviously. But, um, and that's a fucking laundry list of ingredients. It's got the, uh, down the bottom, I'll show you there, all those, that's all ingredients, which is questionable. I haven't had, I haven't had a look through it, but I'll let you know in the description if there's something a bit iffy, you know, it's not 100% organic. But yeah, no, all in all, tastes pretty bloody fantastic. Um, what would I give it out of 10? I'd probably give it a, um, oh, probably... Well, at this price, at this price, I'm going to decide at this price, um, I'd probably give it a solid 9 kins out of 10 was. Um, 
yeah, really nice, really not good taste. It's got a bit of sweetness, it's got a bit of spice to it. The, the, you know, the quinoa is actually really nice. It's a great change from just having rice. Uh, yeah, I, just, I just, it could be a bit more of it. Um, I suppose it's a uh, protein, I mean, not pro uh, portion controlled for, you know, people who are trying to lose weight. Um, but for $7, I think you're, unless you've got the money to be thrown around on this, I could not recommend it wholeheartedly. I'd drop it for about four to be honest, there's just just with how long it takes, the the, the price uh, and the, the portion. You know, you, this this won't replace a main meal. It just won't, unless you're like, you know, unless you're like having like six meal, meals a day, like some of the uh, people who are trying to lose weight do. They they space out their meals quite a bit. But um, no, yeah, if if it's, if if you're having you're sticking to your three main meals, like you know a lot of regular people do, then this will not be replacing a main meal. Maybe for lunch actually, but it's it's not dinner. It's obviously not breakfast. You can have your whatever you have, your muesli and yogurt, or your cereals, or whatever you like. But yeah, no, for three dollars fifty, really solid. Can wholeheartedly recommend if it's sitting at half price on the shelf at Woolies. Um, yeah, that's, that's that's it for this review, guys. Uh, if you liked the content, uh, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And if you maybe want to watch some of the other health foods I've done, which will probably be the Lean Cuisine range, um, I'm going to go with Thai Dumpling Soup. Press this button right here. Um, once again, guys, this has been The Mexican, signing off.